Spoiler warning. During her winter break, Meridium Glow decides to do some scientific experimenting up in the mountains, stealing someone's car and killing everyone there to occupy the location to conduct her experiments. River Journey, taking a hike in the mountains, encounters the product of her experiments while staying at an inn run by Cobalt C. Cobaltus, in the form of an extra-dimensional elf named Minty stuck in a bathtub, who asks her to help him get back to his dimension. By doing so, she gets pulled several weeks into the future with her roommate wondering where she's been the whole time. Meridium reaches a point in her experiments where she believes she can start experimenting on living beings, and decides her first test will be on the founder and CEO of the restaurant Sticks, Kadern, professionally known as Fish Stick. She walks past the Sticks employee on his way home after closing, Cobalt C. Cobaltus, who doesn't really notice her. Her experiment fails and Fish Stick disappears, so she fixes the problem and tries again on someone else. Amateur detective Abby Lynx hears about these disappearances, and along with her android assistant Alexa, decides to investigate. They talk to Cobalt, who says he heard some strange bell noises, which he also heard at the inn he was working in last winter. While investigating the second disappearance of a man named Turk Fisherman Potts, he reappears. However, he doesn't seem to remember anything. After interrogating someone she believed at first may be behind it, she decides to go back to Styx to see if Fish Stick reappeared as well. He did not. Though she did learn one more piece of information from Cobalt C. Cobaltus, not to be confused with Cobalt G. Cobaltus, that the only person in the area when Fish Stick disappeared was a woman in a hood. Not only is this an incredibly vague description that will probably not get her anywhere, but it also gives her flashbacks. She decides she's not going to try solving this mystery and temporarily gives up on being a detective until a few months later when something happens. Meridium then turns one of her co-workers into a reptilian warrior and asks him to kill the boss of Slurpco where she works. After doing so, he goes berserk and kills everyone else in the building other than her, with the two of them fighting and her eventually managing to kick him into some experimental slurp juice which he stays in for a long time, eventually climbing out now even more angry than before and purple. Matthew Blevins hears rumors of these deaths in the Slurpco factory and decides to investigate, running out of gas on the way back. After looking around the ruins of the factory and starting to head back, the lizard and lurks behind him, eventually following him all the way back to his house, chasing him all around town. Matthew eventually gets in a word and asks why he's doing this, and he tells him he doesn't want to kill anyone anymore and wishes he could just live a peaceful life. Matthew then leads him out of town to a small hut, saying that this can be his new home, and then realizes he left his car in Slippery Swamp and has to go get it. About one month later, a plane appears in the sky above the archipelago with Abby, Matthew, and River all taking note of it and deciding to go rent a boat to investigate where it crashed on a nearby island, with River and Matthew meeting for the first time. On this small uninhabited island, they encounter someone named Rob who seems to have lost all of his memories other than his name, which he also did not remember at first until someone said it in a sentence. The plane seems to be completely overgrown with vines and greenery as if it had crashed decades ago, so they decide to team up to solve the mystery of Rob and any other mysteries that may come their way, declaring themselves a mystery-solving group. 